Hi everyone, welcome to Getting Started Guide to Apache API 6 Dashboard. My name is Babur, I am a developer advocate, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the API 6 Dashboard platform to manage your admin API from a single simple user interface. Also, I will demo how to install Apache API 6 with Docker, then we will walk through how you can create a road, upstream, and add authentication to your forced consumer service and using the same dashboard. And with that plan, let's get started. Apache API 6 is the first open source API gateway with a built-in low-code uh, dashboard, which is kind of offering a powerful and flexible interface for developers to use. The Apache API 6 dashboard is uh, designed to make it as easy as possible uh, for users to operate the Apache API 6 through the, let's say, uh, front end interface. It uses the admin API under the hood to administrate and control API gateway. Uh, what is the admin API? Admin API provides a RESTful interface for a kind of processes like administration and configuration of your upstreams, the roads, plugins, and consumers. All of the tasks you can perform against the API gateway can be automated using uh, admin API. Let's install Apache API 6 dashboard. There are two ways to do that. One, simply to bring it with Docker and a common pack where all the necessary API 6 components will be set up together, such as admin API, Grafana, Prometheus, and Dashboard. Another way is to install it independently. With the help of Docker, we can start Apache API 6. You need to just download a Docker image of Apache API 6. Then, just switch to the current directory to the API 6 slash example path. Then run the Docker Compose command to install the Apache API 6. So yeah, it will take some time to download all required files. Please be patient. Once download is complete, we can execute a curl command on the host running Docker to access the admin API. If uh, Apache Pi 6 was successfully started based on the returned data, we can check that. We just check it if Apache Pi 6 was successfully started. And then we can access also admin API. As you can see, I'm running my Docker desktop and I have on my machine installed a couple of components that comes with API 6. You can see API 6 dashboard and ADCD container is running and also some Prometheus, Grafana. For example, if you go and click, try to open the API 6 dashboard, you can see the dashboard is running. If you log in into the dashboard by using the as admin and password as an admin. If you go there, you can see our dashboard. Here are some of the things you can do with API 6 dashboard. Uh, create a new roads, upstreams, and uh, consumers. You can activate or deactivate plugins with a couple of clicks. The routes specify how requests are sent to the services after they reach the API gateway. Let's say a single service can have many routes. The route matches their client's requests by defining rules 
then uh, loads and executes the corresponding plugin based on the matching result and uh, of course forwards the request to the specified upstream so uh, let's uh, go and press a create button blue button to create a road uh, as you can see we need to uh, define a new road for our api request and the first thing is just uh, uh, we need to give a name for our road let's call it uh, uh, maybe the example road uh, and we can just uh, leave it as empty labels version description because they are all the optionals optional fields uh, but if you want you can specify this information <clears throat> and uh, to the path and the host uh, we need to define also host uh, i will call my host example uh, dot com and then uh, we can give a, a kind of path uh, uh, that uh, we would like to uh, let's say filter out i will maybe uh, give a, a space a specific path like call it anything star and then uh, next, I need to specify uh, what kind of HTTP method I want to. Uh, to for the simplicity, uh, I can just remove uh, some other HTTP methods. Uh, I'm interested in the more uh, get endpoint. Uh, and uh, other fields, so we can just uh, leave by default. But if you want to customize uh, some of the uh, variables uh, you can do that there are lots of options and also as you can see we have advanced uh, routing uh, matching conditions if you would like to give more uh, advanced conditions for your routes but for us now uh, we'll keep as uh, as in this form and i will go and press next the next step uh, we need to define uh, api backend server so uh, and uh, there are some options for the algorithm uh, that Roll to use. Uh, I prefer to use a round robin algorithm. And uh, I, will, uh, I choose upstream type as a node. Uh, we can also specify a service discovery. Uh, and we need to define the, for this backend API any uh, host name we want. I will uh, give a, a host name, let's say maybe HTTP bin org, and then uh, uh, port let's be 80. And uh, for the weight of uh, API uh, routing, I will just specify one uh, as default. And uh, you can see also you can uh, set retry mechanism uh, or uh, retry timeout if you want to be more, uh, let's say custom values and also you can activate the health check uh, and there are various type of configuration that uh, dashboard offers and now for us uh, it is enough we can go and press next to the going uh, by going to the next step and uh, now next step is offering plugins but we'll come back to enabling plugin after once we create the upstream in the next step i will skip this step for now and uh, just uh, review what we have I created an uh, example route and I will submit my route. As you can see, it's uh, submitted successfully. So the first step is done. And uh, next, let's go and create a new upstream uh, for a given route. Oh. Upstream creation also similar to route. Uh, we need to uh, fill uh, uh, the uh, information about, let's say, uh, upstream, uh, at least like a basic ones. Uh, then I need to specify also the name for the upstream. Uh, let's call it example, similarly, example upstream, maybe. And then uh, you can also hear uh, the same as we did uh, specify some algorithms uh, or upstream type, uh, we will leave as default. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, let's uh, put uh, for the upstream uh, the horse name the same as STB bin and the port 80 and uh, here we go so go press next and uh, submit so of course uh, the same uh, kind of process can be done in once uh, with a route because you know you don't have to create the upstream once you have like plugin for now we created the route and upstream and uh, the final step we can also willingly uh, map the route to the upstream or, you know, or how we say we can bind it. And uh, this can be done also uh, very easily because dashboard provides uh, 
straightforward way of it. For example, in the last uh, Ruby step, we selected upstream as a custom and we specified our custom rules. But now here also we can select uh, the, you create upstream. Because for example, we had example upstream. If you click example upstream, now all uh, uh, the roles will be uh, forwarded to the, this API backend. So click next, next, and submit. So now we have bind that role to the upstream. The role that we created in step one is fully public. Thus, anyone can access this upstream service. As long as they know the address or that Apache P6 exposes to the outside world. Uh, of course, this is unsafe. It creates a certain uh, security risks. In a practical application scenario, uh, we need to add authentication uh, to the road. Now, uh, we want only the specific user, let's call it John, to have uh, access to this upstream service. And we need to use for, for this uh, consumer and plugin to implement authentication. So let's create our first consumer. I will press a button create and give any consumer name. In this case, uh, we can call it uh, example also uh, consumer. So uh, click next and uh, we will apply uh, for this consumer to give the key output a key authentication uh, we need to enable from various plugins options uh, i will choose authentication and go to key house to enable in order to enable this plugin i need to press enable button and uh, click this toggle switch on then i will just uh, provide a key for the consumer like key, for example, key of John, and submit. Click next and submit. So now, as you can see, we have example consumer. By adding key authentication, we are controlling the data that is allowed to be transmitted from our gateways and identifying unique consumers that are accessing our API. Now that the plugin is uh, activated, and any requests that do not include a valid API key will be automatically rejected within a, let's say, HTTP 401. Uh, to show this, uh, let's move over to our terminal and uh, issue, try to issue request uh, the service with the plugin now activated. To test this, we can uh, simply run this command that we want to access uh, with get HTTP method get the full bar one full bar two parameters and uh, when you when I try to access this API I will obviously get unauthorized error now uh, it's our API is secured and we are missing API key uh, and uh, what we can do, we need to uh, send the key, API key. So now if I end, add uh, to the end of my request, API key of John and press enter. Now, as you can see, I can access my API endpoint. We have shown how you can use the power of Apache API 6 to deploy, configure, and publish your API and secure it as well, all from a single user interface. Currently, the dashboard doesn't have a complete coverage of Apache API 6 features. Uh, you can visit our official website to view the milestones about upcoming changes. But it covers the basics uh, like uh, roads, uh, services, uh, consumers, uh, and uh, the team is working hard to bring new awesome features. 
if you would like to be a part of a community, there is a developer guide. You can check it out. It is open source and ever evolving. Feel free to contribute. Thanks for watching. Thank you.